check this video out. My Brother in the Faith, Pastor Craig posted as part of his video exposing the Pope's global world system just the other day. What you're about to see is something I also did a video on some time ago as well, but this new video that he put up steps it up a bit in regards to how the technology has been greatly improved just as we expected. Now, keep in mind, however, I do not post this video for the student of prophecy or even the obedient people of God because they already know what time it is. The Lord they love reveals these things to them so as to bless them with peace as well as the courage and the faith they're going to need to stand firm when that day finally gets here, just as he promised he would. And all these blessings come about by simply reading our Bibles and praying each and every day. And so, no, I post this video for the lukewarm Christian who rarely reads their Bibles, as well as the scoffer that never even opens one. Now, as you watch this video, think about all those obedient Christians that told you about a one world government that was going to be controlled by the beast system in Rome so as to be able to keep an eye on every person of interest on earth. This is being done to be able to easily mark as many as will bow to them, but at the same time, track, persecute, attack, and even kill those that refuse. Check this out. Mainland China is advancing its surveillance state policies with an implementation of the social credit score system. Slated to go into effect in the year 2020, the system will incorporate 600 million CCTV cameras across the country, monitoring daily activities of the communist nation's one and a half billion citizens. Well, I think that the government and the people running the plan would like to go as deeply as possible to determine how to allocate benefits and also how to uh, impact and shape their behavior. The system will assign the so-called social credit score to each citizen based on their behavior and conduct, political reliability and personal finance. Low-ranking individuals will subsequently be barred from certain activities, such as traveling by trains and airplanes, purchasing properties and even sending children to private schools. This is stirring concerns of a possible human rights abuse, as the system could be used to crack down on political dissent, whilst Chinese authorities maintain it is designed to curb criminal activity. The social credit system's surveillance cameras are said to be able to recognize vehicles and faces and identify certain types of questionable activities, including smoking in non-smoker areas. Additionally, the system will be backed by artificial intelligence. Beijing says its AI development is aimed at boosting China's industrial production and financial sector data processing, but as any dual-purpose technology, the AI could also bolster state security. By using the mechanism of social credit, we'll be able to establish a blacklist of people and create a system of punishment that will be based on a scientific theory. These punishments will serve as a whip to rebuild moral values. Our society needs it. Now think about what you just saw. Do you not see that this technology is in fact being perfected in China, wherein over a billion people reside in a fairly small space? After they get all the kinks out of this system, they're going to be able to easily scale it up to literally go global. China currently has around 1.4 billion people. The planet currently has around 7.7 .7 billion people. And so they only need to scale it up to a factor of five. But they've already got 1.4 figured out. So it's not going to be that difficult to scale it up. And think of this as well. How would the Chinese government benefit by creating such technology against their own people? And yeah, I get it. It's a communist nation, and they do like that type of control because that's what Satan confused them to do. But when you look at how this was all prophesied, one can see why Satan would move them to use their very own people as a way to perfect a technology that they know for a fact can make them insanely rich once they market this technology to all the other governments of the world. With all that in mind, is it any wonder the first beast in Rome has been communicating with the leaders of China on a regular basis the last few years, and especially when the Chinese government actually allowed them to appoint Vatican bishops, who are nothing more than political pawns of the Pope, because Catholicism is not Christianity. It's political, just like Islam. And is it any wonder why the second beast in America has funneled trillions of dollars into China's economy for decades so as to assure they have all they need to perfect such a system that both the first and second beast know can and will go global with very little effort. Well, that all being said, I need to ask the lukewarm Christian that refuses to pray and read their Bibles daily a simple question. 
why are you ignoring all this? I mean, is your choice of sin that enticing that you will literally ignore what you know for a fact is staring you right in the face? Is your sinful lust so strong that you no longer care about what's going to happen? Seriously, if you just recall a few Bible verses or even a prophecy or two that you read not too long ago, you know what you're looking at here. So why are you dragging your feet? Don't you realize that if you don't prepare now, you will not be ready when there is no time left to prepare? I mean, do we actually think that Jesus is going to ignore how you preferred not to work while it is yet day, knowing that when the night comes, no man can work? You will most assuredly die in hellfire if you continue to slight the warnings you know for a fact are in your very own Bible. And as for the scoffer, I have to ask, I am sure many of you have heard about a few of the end time prophecies as the Lord loves you enough to send his obedient people to warn you as often as is possible. And perhaps some of you even seen a list of these prophecies that have already been fulfilled, like the ones I have listed in my free book, People Get Ready. That all being said, why on earth would you scoff? How can you believe the prophecies aren't true when they're happening exactly as the Bible said they would? Thank you for watching. God bless.